Hi, I'm Dr. Isla Sanchez, Senior Content Developer for Statistics at Zybooks, and today I'm going to talk to you about Simulation Zy tools in the Introduction to Statistical Investigation Zybook. Simulation Zy tools are learning tools integrated into the platform, like so, that empower students to conduct simulation based inference without the need to learn a programming language like R or external software. Tools found in, in sections such as this one are guided experiences where students must give inputs matching the study covered in the section. So in this example, students are looking at a study about dolphins, doris, and buzz, where buzz pushes a button 16 times, and they are shown a model where, oh, you use coin flips to simulate buzz pushing that button. So, okay, buzz pushed the button 16 times. How many coin tosses to simulate that? Say students don't know, and they think it's the probability, they're told. Uh, please enter a whole number greater than or equal to one. Oh, okay, um, he got it correct. Uh, some number of times, maybe it's 10. And then they're told in the feedback, no, the number should correspond to Buzz's 16 button pushes. So it not only tells them what the correct input is, but why. Then they go along, they simulate one repetition of using the coin tossing model, they simulate another, they simulate another, and then they enter so many that eventually a pattern emerges into what we, we know is a familiar normal distribution shaped curve. I uh, note that students plots that they're going to get out of this are going to be completely individualized because every student gets you know, their own simulation when they do this. Students can download their plots using the little camera icon and really download any plot using that camera icon. And also note that these section activities have completion chevrons and are required for sections to be marked as complete. As tools are used throughout the book, new features are added to reflect how topics are scaffolded through, throughout. So as an example, in the very next section, students now look at a study about rock, paper, scissors. And again, they simulate the study, they enter the inputs, but they are now given more features of the tool that allow them to calculate the p-value by counting how many simulated statistics had stats that were less than or equal to the observed statistic. You know, so they would enter the observed statistic from the study, they would compute, and they'd see, oh, 220 simulations simulated statistics were less than or equal to the observed one, and they'd have to answer the question for completion. Moving forward a bit, this culminates in section 2.5, where students have a tool that has many features scaffolded on from 2.3 and 2.4 and earlier in 2.5 that allows them to overlay a normal distribution and conduct both simulation and theory-based inference, as well as give a directionality and have complete outputs from the tool. Fully featured standalone versions of tools can be found in the appendix section at the end of each chapter. So here in chapter, chapter two at 2.12, there's the fully featured one proportion simulator from chapter two. This includes all features that were introduced throughout the section and allows students to input whatever they want without it being some, something of a guided experience. Um, you notice that occasionally there are features such as number of successes here that students can use without having to see it in a section. Uh, also note that these simulation Zy tools may appear in multiple chapters. So this one proportion simulator appears again down in chapter four where students learn about confidence intervals. And in chapter four, the same tool is present but now, again, with more features added on. So the chapter four version adds on the ability to con compute confidence intervals and is found here. Also found in the appendix section, you'll find a data subsection. This will include any inputs needed in order to reproduce what was found in earlier sections, as well as references and data sets as available. If you'd like more details on the simulation-based approach, there are other videos on that. We also have a section here titled Under the Spiral in the Instructor Resources chapter that you may find useful if you're trying to change your teaching to use this approach. Of course, if you have any other questions, you can reach out to us via email and we'd love to hear from you. Thank you.